Hey Alan here. Got a problem with my 95 Honda Odyssey. Uh, a couple weeks ago when I was driving, I could feel that uh, the car started to slow down and I had a hard time getting up to speed on the highway. Definitely felt like a clogged exhaust. And I could hear pieces rattling in the catalytic converter. It actually got a lot better. So I think a piece broke loose and maybe worked its way through. But the converter is noisy and it leaks. And this is an aftermarket converter that was put on by uh, a Meineke shop many years ago. And uh, they really didn't do a great job. It's a, and they welded the piece of the, of the original cat off and welded on a new cheap cat. They used uh, red RTV to hold the front connector together, which has since come out. So it's it's leaking right there at that joint. The the pipe between the catalytic converter and the muffler is bolted on here. But in a factory car, there's supposed to be a connection here, uh, a three bolt connection. And what they really did is they just they welded a cad into here and, and, and replaced one piece of pipe that was leaking so basically they didn't have to use any parts and just uh, hit us up with a lot of labor for making up a set of pipes so now if I want to replace the cat I have to replace this pipe along with it and I did get Walker replacements for both you can see that it's really two pieces um, but on my car unfortunately it's one piece so one thing I found out is that the 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 muffler shop who did this put a cheap bolt through here with the old spring and a big fender washer and they welded the nuts onto the bolt so I can't take this apart I'm gonna have to break it I could cut it but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two big wrenches on it and just turn it and then the bolts gonna just break apart and that's how I'm gonna get it off So I'm just going to keep twisting till it pops. Any second. There it is. And off it comes. I don't have to use a cutting tool or, or a torch, although that would have been a lot quicker. You know, you use what you have. There it goes. And that's how I removed <laughs> my catalytic converter. Just want to show a couple observations here. One is on the Odyssey, there's a bracket here that bolts to the engine block and, and holds the bottom of the exhaust header or exhaust manifold in place. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but on this car, it's cracked. It's cracked right here all the way across so it's really not doing anything. So while I'm here I'm going to replace that. Also the um, there's an exhaust donut that goes on here that is uh, pretty used up but I'm going to replace that as well. So before I put this in the car I'm going to go hook my uh, catalytic converter to my middle pipe, my extension pipe. It runs from the converter to the muffler got a new gasket for it. So uh, when I assemble these on the bench I just bought standard 3 8 bolts, 3 8 by 1 and a quarter with some washers and nuts and I bought the standard gasket here and I'm just going to put them together. Using 9 16 just going to tighten them up. That's it. One more thing is, is there's a an O2 bong, which is on the back of the cat, which is for an OBD2 car, which I don't have. I have uh, an OBD1 car, so I only have one oxygen sensor, which is in front of the cat. So I have to make sure I tighten this down, or I'm going to have an exhaust leak. So just to hold this in place, I'm going to put my rubber donut on here. Then hang it on here. And this way it's supported from either way, whichever side I put on first. 
it'll be supported. I talked about the rubber donut in the pipe coming from the cat, but there's one here as well going to the muffler. This donut in here is, is really old. It's probably original to the car. So again, when they when they had this apart, you know, they didn't they didn't replace these with new donuts, and they both showed signs of leaking, and they both had red RTV crapped all over them. You know, I bought two new ones. They're ten dollars a piece, and uh, you know, now hopefully it won't leak. Well, it's really hard to film. But you can see where this broken bracket, see the broken bracket, broken two? No, I put a new one in, which is right up there holding that pipe in. It was really easy to do. It was just uh, two 12 millimeter bolts and two 14 millimeter bolts. It took me a few minutes just to take the old ones out, put the new ones in, new bracket from Honda, and now that pipe is solid as a rock. So we've got a new exhaust donut or gasket that goes on here and it doesn't fit on so well because this pipe is kind of all buggered up. It doesn't help that the shop put red RTV all over it instead of replacing it. I'm just going to clean it up a little. Just so I can get a smooth, just so this would go on nice and easy. I don't have to force it on or tear it. Okay, that's it. That should work out pretty good. New hardware from Walker. Uh, it's, it's right for the application. Put the spring on. Put the bolt through. And get the nut started. You can't really over tighten this because what happens is this bolt bottoms out on these two flanges. So all the nut really does is hold this bolt in place and then it's just spring tension and that gasket that keeps it from leaking. Okay. So here I'm going to put my gasket on. It goes on because it's going on to a nice new pipe. Got my exhaust system in. I got my new, my new uh, pipe, new gasket here, new bolts, new uh, intermediate pipe, whatever they call it. Three new bolts, new cat on the front of the cat over here. I've got two new bolts, a new gasket, and way up front, I've got a new exhaust bracket from Honda. You know, a shop with a lift and the right tools could probably take out the old and put the new in in about 20 minutes. But with me on the ground, having to keep going back to the box for the right tool and uh, trying to do a silly camera at the same time, it took me oh, well over an hour, probably about an hour and a half to get it done. Um, anyway. It's almost as good as new. Hopefully it won't leak and hopefully uh, I won't hear that rattling noise. And uh, we'll see. We'll take it for a ride.